What's up everybody, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're gonna be talking about who I am, how I got into real estate, and what to expect from this channel. So if you could, go ahead and subscribe, give this video a like, and let's get into it. My name is Michael Aranini. I moved to San Antonio about five years ago at the age of 19 and I got into real estate almost right away. For all that, I actually had a couple different jobs or careers, whatever you want to call them. And first one, I actually worked as a personal trainer. So I didn't do very good at that. I was there for probably about two months and I just wasn't able to get any clients. I think at that age, I probably just didn't have the best social skills and I wasn't too good at the sales side of being a trainer, which is probably more important than actually being a good trainer itself. So yeah, didn't do too good at that. I also was part of a couple different multi-level marketing companies. I didn't really get any products sold. I didn't really get anybody recruited. So yeah, didn't do too good at that either. And I also worked as a pharmacy tech. So I worked at Walgreens for a couple months. Um, I believe it was about three months. And actually, while I was in high school, I was able to get my certification to be a pharmacy tech because I was able to make decent money right out of high school. But I didn't like the people I was working working with. I didn't really like the job per se. So I was only there for a few months and I decided to leave. From there, I decided I was going to work with Aflac. So I started selling life insurance and supplemental insurance products. And that was actually going really well up until I decided I wanted to leave where I was living and decided to move to San Antonio, Texas. So once I moved to San Antonio, it was probably about a month or so until I got into real estate. And how that happened was at the time I was really into a lot of personal development. So I followed a lot of different personal development pages on Instagram and Facebook. And there was one guy who I kept coming across who was talking about wholesaling real estate. He was talking about how he was able to buy and flip houses with basically none of his own money. Really it piqued my interest, really intrigued me. So it led me down this rabbit hole to where I was following a bunch of different people and I was really good because at the time I didn't have much money. So the course was a hundred bucks a month and it didn't teach me a ton about real estate really, but what it did do for me was teach me the basics about wholesaling and it also taught me the basics about real estate and it also allowed me to find another guy who was here in San Antonio as well who had been doing real estate for a couple years and had a little bit of experience so I was able to kind of go under his wing learn a little bit from him and shadow him with the deals that he was doing so it took me about five or six months till I finally found my first deal and once I found it made a bunch of different mistakes with it so first thing I messed up the paperwork so I was super nervous super eager to get the deal done and the guy who I was working with he actually showed me how to fill out all the paperwork and everything and get the deal under contract and I still messed everything up thankfully I went back to him he showed me how to correct all that got the deal uh, squared away and under contract another big thing I messed up was I actually tried to drop off the earnest money so I didn't realize that at the time but title companies can't take cash so I actually tried going to the title company to drop off the earnest money in cash and they only take checks or wire transfers. So I had to go over to the bank and actually get a money order, bring it back to the title company to go ahead and give the earnest money. And then fast forward a couple weeks after that and I got my first deal closed. And I didn't make a ton of money. I actually only made $3,000 after about five, six months of going at this and working at it really hard. But what it did do for me is it gave me proof of concept. It gave me proof of concept that I could go ahead and find deals that were under market value and resell them, make some money. So now I'm 24 years old recently got married, living here in San Antonio, Texas, still with my wife, and I'm doing wholesale deals still, flipping houses, doing subject to deals, wraps, and a bunch of other creative stuff. So why am I on YouTube now? One of the main reasons I'm getting on YouTube now is to try to help other people. So I don't really put myself out there a ton, but I've been on a couple different podcasts and different shows out there. And surprisingly enough from those, just those couple things, I actually have a lot of people that reach out to me asking questions about how to do their first deal or just questions about how to get through a certain deal they're working on. A lot of the questions are are pretty repetitive. People tend to ask the same kind of things or have the same kind of obstacles or hurdles when they're getting started. So I just want to be able to put some of that stuff out here so that way people can kind of go back to those and get their questions answered. Another reason is so that way I can document the stuff that I do. So I've done a bunch of different deals that have had messy title issues, different kind of probate and estate issues that have to be resolved. And some properties too that are just messed up, you know, physically where there's super junky houses, super nasty houses like this one here, this one here, and this one over here. These are super nasty properties that I've been able to take and kind of completely flip them, uh, do a completely 180 on them and turn them into something beautiful. So it's just something that I can kind of look back on and kind of reminisce and see kind of what these things were like before and what they turned out to be after. I also want to be able to share some of the more creative stuff I've done. Like some of the times when I bought properties subject to and then reinstated loans that are past due and had to bring in private money for both the reinstatements and repairs and different kinds of things like that. There was another deal I remember I did where I purchased the whole house or that actual house for 3,500, that was it. So just different deals like that. I kind of want to be able to 
record, get on video, share them with other people and have them there for myself as well. And pretty much the last reason why I wanna be here on YouTube as well is just to share the truth. There's a lot of people that are on social media talking about real estate, but there's a lot of people who aren't really sharing the full story and sharing the truth about what it takes to be involved in real estate. And definitely if you get on HGTV or watch any of the shows on there, they definitely aren't telling you the full story. So I just wanna be able to shed light and give people kind of a clear understanding of what it really takes and what really happens in real estate. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel, give this video a like, and let me know down in the comments what kind of questions you have, what kind of content you'd like to see, or any kind of uh, topics you'd like to see kind of covered in other videos uh, relating to real estate or anything else really. So let me know and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks.